Welcome back to Capture School. Today, we're going to be talking about a Robus tripod. All right. Today, we have something super exciting. My name is Nick, along with Scott, and we are going to be talking about a Robus RC5570 carbon fiber tripod. Look at this beast. This is, this is really nice. And it, for the size of this thing, it's not as heavy as you think it would be. Yeah, so weight-wise, it's 5.6 pounds, but it extends up to 70 inches, 70.1 inches without your ball head. 70 inches high, so um, when I open this up, I'm 6'1", it's the top of this is above my head, and that's without a ball head and a, camera. a camera. Yeah. So you can get some really high shots, and um, you know, People will say, well, why I want that high? You can actually run it off your iPad now or your, you know, case air or something oh, yeah, yeah. like that. So you can put your camera really high up and then run it off an app. Yep. So, all right. So let's talk a little bit about the construction of this. Um, it's what they call 10 times carbon fiber tubes. So the strength on these is incredible. The bowl is aircraft grade aluminum. So this changes out in the front here. So you have your traditional ball head, yeah. and then this goes out for a video head. So, so it's, how, does it, how does that come out? Is it like a quick release or something? Or? Um, I have it tightened up right now, so it wouldn't rattle around. But yep, you would just tighten this or loosen this. It's kind of like a little built-in wrench there. Okay. And then you could pop this out by loosening it enough, and then you have a quick release here to be able to pull this out. So this pops in. So you would pull this out again, pop that in, and that's for a video yeah. head. So it's a photo or video tripod. All right, so one of the things you notice here is you have a hook, which a lot of tripods have a little tiny hook. This has a giant hook to be able to hang your bag, hang a sandbag, hang something to give it some weight there so that it doesn't shake. Yeah. So I do this a lot while I'm it's in wind. stabilization. I mean, it, it does get your bag off the ground, but that's not what it's there for. You're using in your, Arizona, you're using your important. camera bag for a sandbag, essentially. Pull the middle of that down, and that stabilizes all yep. three legs. But if you're someplace where it's wet, or like we are in the Southwest, you have critters and all these things from the choya cactus and everything keeping the bag off the ground is important so you don't put your bag down and then have spikes in the back of your you know your back yep you can lay this down virtually flat so four inches off the ground five inches from full flat or five degrees from full flat yep. i like these a lot of them are you have to press them in to release them i like to pull up and then relax i think that's a great idea Look at that. you can get that four inches off the ground Again, you're going to have your ball head on top here, so you're not going to get it exactly four inches, but the actual tripod, there's no center column. Yeah. So you can get that super low But the low nice thing there. about this is it's it's so big and so stable that you could put a big gimbal and a big long lens on it for wildlife. Yep. I do also like these. I know this isn't on their website, but they have rubber grips on at least two of the three tripod legs. Yep. Very nice. So you can uh, hold it. So you can... You can Lock this in at a variety of different lengths here. A super nice, very versatile, super heavy for heavy weight, but not heavy in the poundage to carry it around yeah. because it is carbon fiber. So it's got a rubber foot with a, which is assembly ball and a socket kind of a thing. So depending on the angle yep. that you've set this on, you can still get a flat, stable section yep, yep. and hold it down. And they grip the table really well. Have little bumps on the bottom for grip. Set of metal spikes. We'll screw into there. And the standard ones that are on here yep. are like indoor kind of uh, rubber feet. Now, what was even nicer was all of these came in the bag. So now where would I see myself using something like this? I could see like maybe at like an aircraft show when you're going out and, and shooting a, like planes and you want to get above the crowd. Everyone's heads are at like six foot. Now you can have your base of your tripod yeah. at six feet. But because of this construction, it is super stable. So even at that higher level there's no center column so you're perfectly stable here at this many feet and then as you go up you're not losing that stability as you go up yeah. higher and of course the further out the legs go the further out the base goes makes it even more stable and you can get over people's heads now because you oh, put yeah. the ball head on there and your camera yep. and then you get right over the crowd um, other times i could see it maybe wildlife super stable for wildlife photography pretty much anywhere it's, I, don't, I don't see this as a hiking tripod where you're going to hike way no. off road I don't think so. More car tripod, you're going to an event, you know how far you're going to go, something well, like you're that. You're not going to go eight miles in. Yeah. yeah. And I see people carry stuff like this eight miles, and I just don't think that that's really meant for that. Mm. Uh, twist locks. Yep. 
So there's two schools of thought on those. Some people like them. Some people like the clip, the snap clips. Those seem to work good. Is it like a quarter turn? So you're not spinning a little bit, off? just a little, little snap. Yep. Okay. Max load that they say on the website. And again, this is always up to interpretation. It says 55 pounds. That you That's can... a very heavy rig. Yeah. So big, <laughs> big lenses or big video camera or something. Yeah. So large lenses, all that stuff, big video cameras, yep. stuff like that. So it can hold That's quite a bit. That's what this is for. Yeah. If, you, if you've got a little, a little mirrorless camera with a little short lens that you probably don't need. It's a little overkill for that. Little overkill, exactly. Yeah. And it's got a 10 year limited warranty. So definitely check this out. So this model is the Robus RC 5570. It's a tripod coming new out in the market. You're gonna see them everywhere. Super high quality. We'll put links to B&H Photo down below so you can find that and purchase these. They always have the best prices on these kind of things. Um, and what else? I think just subscribe, subscribe and follow, set your alerts so you can see stuff. We're always going to put new stuff that we find out there that we like and we want to talk about. So you'll never see stuff on here that we're kind of forced to review. So check the stuff out. It's really nice and we will see you real soon.